In this video, I will be packaging Visual Studio Code executable installation file into MSI file using Wix. The main reason for it is to deploy the software using group policy. I'm starting this video from my GitHub page and that's because there are a few bits of information here that I will be using for this video and I will leave the URL in the description down below. Also in the bottom of the page you can find more of my videos that are related to this topic. For example here you can find videos about installing and using Wix and then there is this video about psexec and that's because I will be using psexec to execute the installation of the MSI file that we will be creating as a system account and that's only to make sure that the installation is successful no matter what user I'm using to deploy the software. And now I'll begin this video by downloading Visual Studio Code executable installation files. And for that I will use the link that I have here that brings us to the Visual Studio Code download page. And for this video I will be using System Installer and that's important because user installation is a bit different. And if you want uh, me to make another video about creating the package for user installation, you can leave uh, a comment down below. But for now I will select the 64-bit System Installer. I will click on the 64 and the download should start. Now I will go to my downloads folder and the executable should appear here. And now that we have our executable, the next thing that we need is the Wix configuration file. For that, once again, I will go back to my GitHub page. And here I have a few configuration files for Wix. One is called VS Code. And this is already completed a configuration file for Visual Studio Code. So you can check it out if you want to, but for this video I will be using the one that's called template. So I will click on it and then I will click on this button right here and it should download the configuration file for us. Then I will go back to the downloads folder and here we have our Wix configuration file that's called template. I will right click it, select the name and I will name it VS Code. Then I will right click it again and I will open it with Visual Studio Code. And you can use any other text editor to open it. And as you can see, it's an XML file. Basically, it's instructions for Wix on how to package the executable into a MSI file for us. And when working with this template, we only care about this part right here, because here we need to fill in the information that is unique to this MSI file and VS Code installation. And first, we need to name our MSI file. So I will give it a value of VS Code Installer. Then for exe we need to provide the executable name, for that I will go to my downloads folder, right click on the executable, select the rename and then I will select the full name. That includes the extension because the extension is important, right click again and select copy. Back to the Visual Studio and paste in the value here. Then for the path we need to provide the location where we currently have our executable. And it's in my downloads folder and my downloads folder is in my d drive so i will type d and downloads then we need to provide silent arguments because we want the installation to happen silently for us for that once again i will go back to my github page and here i have all the necessary switches for the silent installation so i'll select them and then i will right click and copy go back to visual studio code paste in the value here then for the version we need to provide the version number for this msi file and this is not related to the software version but in most cases i like to keep the version number for my msi file the same as the software that is installs so because of that i will copy the version number from the visual studio code executable and then paste in the value here then publisher is not that important but it's a mandatory field and i will give it a value of let's do automation and the last parameter that we need to provide is grid and this is a unique identifier and we can use powershell to generate it for that i will go back to my github page and here i have a powershell command that we can use to generate goods i will select it right click it copy it and then i will open my terminal you can use the regular powershell window if you're not using terminal I will paste in the command and as you can see every time I'm using the command I'm getting a new unique identifier. So I will copy one of the values. Then I will go back to Visual Studio Code and paste in the value here. And that's basically all the necessary information that we need to provide for Wix to generate the MSI file for us. 
now to generate the msi file let's go back to the terminal and here we want to change the location in our command line to the location where we have our wix configuration file and for that i will type cd then because it's in my d downloads folder i will type d downloads and press it if i type there we can see our files here the visual studio code installation executable and wix configuration file now to generate the msi file we need to type wix build and provide the wix configuration file name so it's vs code.wxs and press enter now let's go back to the downloads folder and the msi file should appear for us and as you can see we successfully generated the msi file for us and the last thing that we need to do is to see if our msi file is working so i will right click it copy it and then i will go to my vmware workstation where i have a windows virtual machine prepared and here i have the software folder i will open it and i will paste in the msi file that we created and as you can see also in the same folder i have my psexec executable because like i said i will be performing the installation under the system account so the next step is to open a command line in this virtual machine so i'll open start menu type cmd and run as administrator yes now we have our command line window and we want to change the location of this command line window to the location where we have our files so for that i will click here and copy the location go back to command line and i will type cd paste in the location press enter if i type there we can see our psexec executable and visual studio code msi file also if i type who am i we can see that this current uh, command line is currently running under the user and admin and to switch that i will be using psexec so i'll type psexec executable name i will type minus i for interactive minus s to launch our process under the system account and then we need to provide the process name that we want to start under the system user so i will be starting another command line so i'll type cmd press enter i will agree with the license terms and here we have another command line window but this time if i type who am i it is saying that i am anti-authority system so basically everything that i'm doing in this command line i will be doing it as a system user once again we want to change the location in this command line to the location where we have our files so i'll type cd paste in the location press enter if i type there once again then we see our files now to start the installation i will type cmd slash c this is not necessary but it allows us to see when the installation is fully finished by looking at the command line then we need to provide our msi file name so it's vscode.msi and because i want to perform the installation silently i will add a switch slash qn and press enter now let's wait a bit and it seems that the installation is finished so let's look around and see what happened so first i will go to the control panel by typing control in my uh, command line then i will select and install a program and as you can see here we have visual studio code installer installed and it's published by let's do automation and here we have our version number and also we have our software that's called microsoft visual studio code and we have two entries here because we installed the msi file and then the msi file installed the software for us and it's possible to hide the vs code installer from this list but it makes the program installation process a bit harder to troubleshoot if something goes wrong so that's why i like to keep it now let's go to the start menu and look for our software and as you can see we have our visual studio code here i will try to click on it and it seems to be running just fine and that's it for this video like and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this and see you in the next one